All right, so 4.1, we're trying to rewrite each relation as a function of x and then evaluate at the point x equal negative 1. So for this one, we're only going to do 1 here. And so for this one, we need to rewrite this relation as a function of x. So what I want you to remember for this section and for the rest of the course, anytime I see y, my brain should be thinking this is f of x, okay? So y equals f of x, this is key here, all right? So truly what I'm doing here is I'm just solving for y. So I need to get my y's by themselves. So I've got a y on the left and the right. So I'm gonna move this 2y over here. And so I get 6x squared minus x plus y equals x. Now to move, to solve for y, I need to add x to both sides and subtract 6x squared from both sides. So what do I have? y equals 2x minus 6x squared. And what do I do? I replace y with f of x. And I'm going to write my squared term first to be in descending order. So negative 6x squared plus 2x. Okay, the last thing I'm asked to do is to evaluate at x equal negative 1. So literally everywhere I see an x, I'm going to plug in a negative 1. And what I want you to do is just like this is in a parentheses here, I want you to put a parentheses everywhere you see an x, I want you to put a parentheses negative 1. And I promise you this is going to help you when you go to evaluate this. All right? When we work, we work with parentheses first, so negative 1 squared is just 1, so negative 6 times 1, and then 2 times a negative 2, that's negative 2 total, all right? So this becomes negative 6, and then minus 2, and that gives us negative 8. So f of negative 1 is negative 8. The reason I like this function notation more uh, than x equal, you know, negative 1, y equal, well, we figured that out, that was negative 8, is because this gives me more information than just saying x equals this number. I now know that my x value is negative 1, and when that's true, y is equal to negative 8, the f of x. Okay, that's it.